Great. If you want to see something, you need to come here. I'm here at the uh, Dynamis Glory Dome here in Abuja, Nigeria. It's our first time in this building, but it's just amazing. From the one I was released today, it's impactful. I go with it into the world. When you come here, you experience God wrong. This is beyond wonderful, I love it.
working. With the worship section, the war section, the choir administration, everything is real. The presence of God was so intense today. I want to give glory to the name of the Most High God today for the opportunity to be here to fellowship with uh, other brethren. As, as God commands that we should not forsake the, the, the gathering of the brethren, it's an utmost joy for me to be here to see other brethren as well fellowship with, with God. Today's word was really impactful. I, it's been a series on the Word of God. As we all know that uh, the Word of God is light. Uh, the Word of God is the Lord Jesus is the Word of God. And um, when we abide in the Word, there's so many things. Now, if I, everything alive gets accomplished, like what I, I, I'm taking home today, I understand that the Word of God is light. With the Word of God, we can surmount every difficulties in our lives. With the Word of God, our faith are built up to face every form of adversity in life. In fact, the summary of everything is that we cannot survive without the Word of God. And how do we get acquainted with the Word of God? It's in the study of the Word of God. The Bible has been given to us. The Bible has been given to us as, 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 as a tool for us to get acquainted to the will and the purpose of God in our lives. So I, I would admonish us, as many of us who have been watching at home, I, I would ask that you spend time, even as you're at home, to study God's Word and to see what it contained in there for you that your faith will be built enough to come and fellowship with other brethren the word of god releases the power necessary to take delivery of your possession in god it releases the power necessary we, we earlier on said that the word of god is a wire of power it releases upon you the power necessary to take your possession in God. In Luke chapter 5 verse 4, we saw that yesterday where the power of God was released as Jesus spoke the word. 
And there was an immediate catch of fishes by the release of the war. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I speak to someone here today. What is yours? No devil shall keep it back. I heard the story. I came across the story of a woman who served her mistress in England. And the mistress, wealthy woman, and she died. A short while after, this woman who served her mistress, you know, when you are serving a big person, at least you are short of food and sure of a few things. This woman is gone, and this housemaid or handmaiden was dying in poverty, looking for what to eat. Her pastor was Charles Haddon Spurgeon, who was called the Prince of English Preachers. Very eloquent, powerful man of God. And Spurgeon visited the house of his parishioner, this woman. What's happening? Say, I am in poverty. Looking for what to eat. Nothing at all. She said nothing. And then, Spurgeon sighted on the wall. A document that was framed and kept on the wall. And he asked the woman, what is this on the wall? And the woman said, oh, it was the paper that was given to me by the woman I served, who is now late. I loved her so much. And when she died, I, I became stranded. So I decided to frame this paper to remember her. And Spot John read the paper. It was the will where the woman willed thousands or millions of pounds plus housing and mansion. Spurgeon looked at it and said, that that is on the wall. If you understood, understand what is on this wall, if you understood it, you won't be here. That was how they rescued her from poverty. By an understanding of an inheritance she was not aware of. Poverty died. Bankruptcy died. Empty handedness died. Because she had a document that was in her possession. Whose content she did not understand. Many people have the Bible, but the, what is inside, they don't know. They know it like literature, but they don't know it as an adventure. They know it like literature, but they don't know it as a revelation. But today, I speak my prophecy to somebody. In the name of Jesus, God will open your eyes into the content of the book and your liberty is guaranteed hereby in the name of Jesus. Today's service was impactful. I am really blessed to be in the service. In fact, this service was meant for me, I must say. And I thank God for today. And we talked about a lot of things in the service. And God's servant speak, spoke directly to me today. And I really thank God. Beloved, you cannot be lighted by this book and be a victim of continuous errors and mistakes. What I'm taking home today is just the blessing you know. Like when a, a man goes, a, 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 a son goes to the father for something. Of course, the father will not say no. Coming to church is coming to where Christ is coming to his presence. We, we don't need to push ourselves to come to his presence because we know what it means in life. One without God is perished. One with God will know the gain and profit. And for those who have not been able to come to church since the lockdown, I want to tell you that 
coming to church this time is amazing. They've taken so many precautionary measures and the service is just wonderful. Especially today's message. The, the highlight of the message for me today was the word being our roadmap to eternity. And that means a lot to me. So if you have not been in church since this lockdown, I advise you to come to church. The coronavirus is not the end of it. God is helping us to fight it. And we believe that very soon it will come to an end. So I invite you to come next Sunday. I'm expecting to see you. And God will bless you as you come in Jesus' name. I know that a lot of us out there were still worried about the um, pandemic. I also had that, that worry at first. But the first time I started to come, which was uh, last week, that fear got broken. And I see that in the presence of God, there's liberty. We go to the market, we go to other gatherings, we visit people as the lockdown has been eased. What difference does it make, especially when you're in God's presence? There is liberty. I, I refuse to fear because I know that in the presence of God, all fears are consumed. So I encourage us, try and come there. The, the whole uh, process of, 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 of sanitizing and taking uh, measures against this virus is, is being done here. In fact, there's nothing more you can ask. In the market, we don't sanitize. When people go, we don't even know where they have been. But we still go to them, we buy stuff. But here, in fact, the, 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 the thing we pass through, I don't know what the disinfecting uh, cubicle will pass through. It's so strong. And I believe me, spiritually, physically, no virus can survive that. So I encourage us to come and just enjoy the presence of our God because there's a difference in this atmosphere here. And I just give glory to God for the impact that I, the Word of God and the preaching today is having in my life. As I go home, I, I, I want to go through my notes again and make the Word of today that I see part of my life and part of my family's life. Praise the Lord. It is um, also very interesting to um, let you know that it is a serene service. We ought to exercise our faith, come to church, pray, listen to the Word and take back something home something that is going to encourage and nourish us, that is going to build our faith, our spiritual life. And we pray that when you do so next Sunday, you'll be blessed in Jesus' name. In the presence of God, there is no sickness. There is healing and there is deliverance. I know many people are out there, many people are at home, but I want to invite them to the service. In fact, their life will never be the same again. If you're having fear of not coming to church, you don't have to put the fear aside. Everything, we have disinfectant that would actually disinfect you. Entering, we have sanitizer. Actually, people are actually coming. So just keep your fear outside. And I hope by next Sunday, you'll join us to church here. Thank you so much. I uh, just pray that everyone will have faith to come to church because there is no place like the presence of God. Please. I really encourage people to come to church because when you come to church, you will definitely have a change, a transformation in your life. I want to use this opportunity to encourage my sisters and my brothers still in the house to please come and join us for Wednesday services and uh, Sunday services. You can, I can tell you that something unique when you are in His presence. The presence of God is so awesome, so powerful. The Bible says, I was glad when they said to me, let's go into the house of the Lord. Please, let's join us coming Sunday to worship God. Uh, the church has made a lot of provisions uh, for, for, uh, for, 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 for making the environment conducive for worship. The social distancing is being observed, and you have to come with your face masks. And then they, you can see at the entrance of the church, there's a disinfectant walkway where you can pass through. So everything is said, God is here. I can assure you that our future is secure with the Lord. Hands lifted. When men say they are cast down, you shall say there is a lifting up. I prophesy upon everyone connected, related, and associated with this altar and the fire of God here. The plague of scarcity, shortage, infirmity, calamity in this season shall never be your portion. A thousand shall fall at your side and ten thousand by your right side, but it shall never come near you. Everything you left at home as a pressure, you are going to meet it like a treasure. In the name of Jesus, every sickness, every affliction, every deposit from hell in your life today is uprooted and returned back to hell. In the name of Jesus, so shall it be. Go forward and return back with your testimonies. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. 
As you live here today, as you go into this new week, the Lord bless you. Adonai keep you. El Shaddai make his face to shine upon you. I said as you live here today, as you step into the new week, the Lord bless you. Adonai keep you. El Shaddai, make his face to shine upon you. I be gracious to you. I be gracious unto you. I lift up his countenance on you. And he will be. In everything you do, I say, the Lord bless you, bless you, bless you, bless you. And keep you. Oh Lord, I don't make his face to shine upon you. I will praise your son to you, my baby, and be praise your son to you. The Lord lift up me. His countenance of you. If you want to see something, you need to come here. I'm here at the uh, Dynamis Glory Dome here in Abuja, Nigeria. It's our first time in this building, but it's just amazing. From the one that was released today, it's impactful. I go with it into the one. When you come here, you experience God wrong. This is beyond wonderful. I love it.